Welcome to Combo Collectibles, your source for all things collectible. I'm your host, Spencer, and today we're going to be reviewing Wave 1 of the common Legend of Korra Funko Pops. Now, I'm actually a huge fan of the Avatar series, both The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. I have all of The Last Airbender Funko Pops, and when they released Legend of Korra, I knew I had to get on those right away because the Avatar Pops went crazy expensive really fast. Uh, so we're going to be reviewing the four common ones today, uh, and we'll be doing the uh, exclusive and the chase Korra in a later video, so stay tuned for that one. But let's start it off with the common Korra Pop. So this is a really cool pop of Korra, the Avatar herself, and she's doing her water bending, fire bending, and earth bending. So there's a lot going on with this Funko Pop. It's really detailed. The water and the fire have some clear effects to it, and then there's the ground breaking out from under her. So very well modeled Funko Pop. I think it's very, very cool one to start the series off. Awesome looking one. I almost like this one better than the exclusive and the chase just because of all the bending effects, but definitely a cool pop must have if you're an Avatar fan. Okay, now the next three are actually still sealed up. I haven't seen them yet. This one I opened previously uh, when I opened another package it was included with from Aussie Collectibles. Uh, the other ones I tried to order from Pop in a Box, and I did get two of them sent, but then the other ones never got in stock, so I ended up buying them elsewhere. So uh, right now we're going to be opening, I believe this is the Asami. It was one of the ones that did not come from Pop in a Box, so I ended up just ordering that one on Amazon instead. So let's get that one opened up and see how it looks. Oh good, they put some air cushions in there this time. Last time I ordered a pop from Amazon, it came like completely smashed in the box. Now to their credit, they sent me a brand new one in excellent shape right away free of charge, but still nice that they actually took the time to package this one. All right, so there is a Same from Legend of Korra. The box is in pretty good shape. Now the Asami pop is really cool too. I'm glad they did her. Uh, she's a main character and even though she's not a bender, she's still kind of a badass. She's really good at fighting and martial arts. And they even gave her her shock glove, which she wears. And instead of bending, she just wears a glove that electrocutes people when she fights them. So definitely love Asami. It's going to be a great addition to my avatar collection. All right, now the next two is going to be Amon, the bad guy from season one, and Mako, the firebender. So that should be in this box here. This is from Pop in a Box. Okay, no additional padding from Pop in a Box, but luckily they both got here in good shape. So we'll start with Mako. They're a little dusty, but all in all, not too bad. So Mako is a really cool character as well. He's a firebender, and obviously they've got the clear effects there in his hand with the little ball of fire. So that was a nice touch for him as well. Uh, it looks pretty good. The paint job seems good. They've got his signature red scarf on there as well. And is it just me or am I the only one who thinks if you put his eyebrows together, they look like a batarang? Anyway, moving on. Last but not least, we have the bad guy from season one, Amon. Uh, he was a really cool bad guy, and this actually looks really good as a Funko Pop because he's wearing that painted mask, so it, it looks really good as a final figure because uh, it almost looks exactly like his face did in the show. Uh, and again, he was a really cool bad guy. In the original Avatar, it was more of a worldwide problem, uh, but in Legend of Korra, it's, it's more of a localized rebellion. There's people on both sides of it. It was a very political and complicated fight, so I definitely liked him in Season 1, and uh, I thought it was a nice idea that they did the pop. I'm guessing they're going to be doing some other bad guys in the future. Uh, but there's our four common Legend of Korra Funko Pops. Right now, we're going to move it into the workbench so we can take a nice close-up look.
Well guys, thanks so much for joining me here and checking out these awesome new Legend of Korra Funko Pops. Uh, like I said, I do have an order in on the exclusive Korra as well as the Chase variant that glows in the dark. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss those videos. And let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see some more Legend of Korra Pops. I know for me personally, Funko, the next wave has to have Bo Lin with a little Pabu on his shoulder. Please, please, I really want that pop. It'll be so cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching Combo Collectibles, guys, and we will see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.